Beep, beep. Doot, doot. Hey, Deeks. Hey, Yoshi. Hey, Fair Wolf. Hello. Good evening, good evening. Uh, right, let me get E. They call me the E. And then we go to D, because that's where I save the game. Silent Hunter 3. There it is, nice. Alright, let me get my, my phone. Hello, Noble. You alright, dude? Yeah, long day, man. Very long day. Let's stay late as well. Uh, let's see. I need to open Twitch app. He is Twitch app. Why? Why does Twitch app not show me the chat? There it is. Nice. My phone's at sixty-nine percent. Yeah, then did some uh, Dead by Daylight. It was pretty good. Dread Reaper forty. Thank you so much for the subscription. Wait, it didn't loot you. What kind of shenanigans is this? Wait, there's no... The loot, the loots are broken. Wait, what? What? Dread Reaper 40, thank you very much for the uh, subscription. I hope you enjoy your stay here, man. Dana Ilya, thank you very much for six months. Oh shit, six months? Thank you very, very much. I can thank you all, look at this. Thanks. This is great. <laughs> hey, Thunder. Hey, Sage. My pleasure. Oh, thank you, man. Like, seriously, I really appreciate it. It's not working, no. I have to lead you all. Hold on. You all deserve to be looted manually. I got I got you, fams. Give me a second. Uh, Wait, where is it? Is it this one? Lewd. Lewd. And then. Lewd. And then. Lewd. And then. Lewd. Perfect. I manually lewd. Yeah, me, Froggy, Ollie, and Pumpkin just played some Dead by Daylight. It was really good fun, actually. No, playful. I can't get the damn thing working. Hey, Nat. Thank you for the bits, Noble. I don't know why it's not working, though. What a scam. Hey, Avarice. So thank you again, Dread Reaper. Thank you again, Daniela. Daniela, given the delicious loot. Six months as well, so thank you for half a year of support. Hello, Iris. Hello, Toshu. Hello, Tonda. Hello, Froogie. Hello, Pengi. I got the game downloaded, by the way, Pengi. I haven't had a chance to play it yet, but it's all downloaded now. Hello, Kapunked. Hello, brother. It's telling you to get a new monitor. Well, the monitor wouldn't fix loose. Let me log into Streamlabs. Um... Because that should work. So something wacky is going on. I'll test it. Two streams in a row. Woo woo. Nice one, MK. Nice one. Alert box. So let's do it. Uh, test subscription. Yeah, that's definitely not doing anything. Hmm. I'm turning the thing off like a dum dum, have I? Ah, <laughs> alright, that was that. <laughs> Let me go to the alert widget and reload it. It could be, it just needs a reload. Let me try. <laughs> there we go. Lude. Well, thanks, Test John. What a nice man. Lude. Cool. Alright, that seems to be working. Been watching your content since Dark Calls of the Earth. Damn, dude, that's friggin' ages. What is that, 11 years? Good grief, man. Thank you very much for that. Alrighty, let me load up Silencio Hill. Uh, I'm gonna go get a drink, because uh, I just I haven't had a chance to quickly really go grab one yet. So, and then we're ready to go. Oh, yeah, let me unplug and replug the controller. Dunk. Right, won't be two sets, guys. I did self subscribe. Mm, I self looted. <laughs> Dirty. Hey, evil weasel. Right, back in a sec, guys. What we took?
It's a sign. Get freaky music when I leave. It would help if you saw some uh, picture. There we go. Hey, we will do. Yeah, thank you for the games, uh, ladies. Thanks. It's all at work. Oh, Iris, can you, do you get to hang out? Do you get to like uh, chill out a bit sooner today? Hey, Kirby. Hello, Julian. I certainly hope to play well for the Apocalypse. I think it's going to be really good fun. Looks really good. Yeah, I think Werewolf's going to be really fun, but looks of it. But I need to see more about it, because at the moment it was just a pre-rendered trailer, which doesn't mean an awful lot. So. Dead by Daylight was really fun. Uh, I'm enjoying it. Uh, once I get it a bit more under my belt and know what I'm doing a little bit more, I'll stream it. And we could do some uh, we could do some fun streams with it. Could be cool. Right. I don't know how to get the um, the cutscene syn synced up properly, by the way. I, I've tried a few things. It doesn't seem to work, so... It could just be, a, I think it's a little quirk of the PC version at the moment. There's probably a way to do it, but I'm not quite sure what that is. What are my thoughts on the two Silent Hill films? I love the first one. I don't particularly care for the second one. I don't dislike it. or well, I don't hate it, you know, but it, I don't particularly care for it, I'd say. That's the bathroom. I need to go right now. All right. That's got to be a coincidence, but still, pretty weird. Who would have done this? I don't actually need to save it. That's ridiculous. Hard space ship breaker. No, I haven't actually. What's that? Man, it is muggy in here today, I tell you. We had this like crazy thunderstorm, and I was hoping it would make it slightly less muggy, but I don't think it has. Second one was Heather's film. It wasn't, dude. Do we have a map of Silent Hill? <laughs> what we should do? We want to go to the Brookhaven Hospital. Hey, Shrike! 29! Oh my... Jeez, man. 29. Holy crap. Haven't got a stream for a while. It's time for my favourite Silent Hill game. Seriously, thank you for popping by, man. And thank you so much for 29. 29. Cray, cray amounts of months there. That is like next level support. Seriously. Thank you so much. I just realized I haven't equipped anything to beat people with, which is quite upsetting. Hey, Carl. Yeah, Thunder here too. Let's go check the office. You check the office as Harry? I don't know if you do as Heather. I'm getting my Silent Hills mixed up as much. Hey, games. Yeah, we've we actually made quite a lot of progress last time, Iris. Actually, hey Arth, I need to go there. All right, rude. <laughs> Lude. Hey Puck, time for more time for more ween while I deal with work. So excited for more Silent Hill. I hope everyone's having a wonderful time of day. Yes, very much so. Thank you, dude, and thank you for nine months. Thank you kindly. That's a that's a stream, baby. That is. But I'm a deadbeat stream dad, so sorry about that. So we've been playing. I was playing as Heather just now, actually, in uh, in Dead by Daylight. It's had to be Heather. Had to represent. I also got Heather killed quite a lot, so um, my bad. Lude. Please don't hold it against me. Huh. Abort. Hey, Feather. <laughs> Lude. Oh my god, there's like massive amounts of loot. Let me address it in order then. Dread Reaper, thank you very much for 300 biddies. That's really lovely of you, dude. Thank you kindly. Not only dropping them six subs, <laughs> but also dropping them biddies. Lude. Thank you very much. And then Feather dropped 29. Another 29. A good lord. Feather, thank you so much. 
Happy sub day to you too. Thank you for your ongoing support in pretty much literally everything. You rock. Thank you so much, fella. It's always lovely to see you. Oh, there's no goodies in this truck. That's upsetting. 29's crazy. Same with Shrike. Thank you very much. Hey, Renus. And Wintermute, 24. Two years. Two years of support as well. Hell of a milestone. Thank you so much, Wintermute. You are a scholar and a gentle person. Thank you very, very much. Oh, we're here. Uh-oh. That is an upsetting noise. Let's not go there. <laughs> you got competition! 29 month competitions! Hey, Gorster! Anytime, honestly, Feather, it's, it is absolutely my pleasure. Completely my pleasure. I love it. And love having you guys hang out. It's a hell of a lot of fun. You guys rock! I want to go in here, but it's full of gribbles. I think going down here takes us to Brookhaven? Yeah. Well, thank you, Wintermute. Two years is seriously a hell of a milestone. You also get the uh, Final Fantasy bunny boobs now. Yay! I mean, if Twitch asks, it's just a um, coincidence that it happens to look like two balloons. Okay, cool. Remember, guys, don't 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 sell me up the river if they ask you. They go, is that Halloween a bit of a pervert? You get, remember, guys, the answer is no. He's wholesome. Don't let me down. I got faith. I was kind of hoping for goodies, like randomly, but I feel like uh, I feel I'm uh, barking up the wrong spooky woods. You play as a person who takes a job in space, breaking down spaceships and component parts. It's actually very fun, kind of puzzly. Oh, well, that actually sounds alright. Oh, that sounds like that. I'll have to check that out. Hello, Jess. You alright? Carol Street. Lude. <laughs> Lude. Thank you, games. Thank you for that. Hello, I mean, you're as wholesome as the bombing quicksand. Is that really wholesome? I like to think it is. I think I might actually uh, perform Katana. Lude. Uh, perform Weebery. Oh, what's that? Heaven's Night. Hey, this looks familiar. Nice poll. It's a tourism pamphlet. I'd forgotten it, but it's true. Silent Hill was originally a resort town. Welcome to Silent Hill. Silent Hill is a quiet lakeside resort town. We're happy to have you. Take some time out of your busy schedules and enjoy a nice restful vacation here. Row after row of quaint old houses, a gorgeous mountain landscape, and a lake which shows different sides of its beauty with the passing of the day, from sunrise to late afternoons to sunset. Silent Hill will move you and fill you <laughs> with a feeling of deep peace. I hope, <laughs> DP, kick, I hope you, <laughs> sorry, I hope your time here will be pleasant and your memories will last forever. Editor, Roger Widmark. Oh, isn't that nice? Thank you, Pumpkin. Oh, you are so wholesome. You know it, Pumpkin. I know you've got my back. You got me sorted. Say you just got an oath of secrecy as well. When an EMR comes up with an error, core dal ssp proxy integrate data dot p not found. What's EMR? I'm trust. Is that what you? Is that a bit of medical equipment? It sounds like it's, like I need to. What's some context to that, Pengu? If you can help me, what a bit of what that is, I might be able to help you. No, I've been thinking of names. I've been thinking mm -hmm. of names. Occupy. Thank you again, by the way. Carbuncle is very soft. Very very soft in this. The flyer from the club. It shows a woman with long black hair. The return of Lady Maria of the Astral Clock Tower from 8 p.m. on the 27th. Electronic medical records. What what medical record system do you use? Sorry, ours. Sorry, apologies. Ours is called EPR, which is electronic patient records. You see, it's integrity greenway. I mean, with that kind of error message, uh, authentication failure, maybe. Let me just have a look again. See, proxy data reader. So, do you use a smart card, Pengi? I'm interested. Uh, 
I know, doing IT. Because part normally proxy is um, smart car stuff. I'm very good. I can I can do spoops and tech support. Thank you, by the way, Pumpkin, again for the lovely biddies. Lude. I'm very grateful. Hey, Victorian. Silencio Hill Three. No, the sound issue is still being a bit weird. It's still being a bit weird. The the cutscenes are a little bit off, which uh, I can't fix, unfortunately. What key did I pick up? I hear gribbles. Also, um, there we go. What key did I get? I swear I picked up a key. Maybe I didn't? Mm, maybe not. No, you have your own computer in your lab, but it's the entire clinic that uses the same EMR. We're all on one server. Greenway might be its own thing then, because normally proxy means it's not re it, it's, it's having issues authenticating. So whatever you used to authenticate. I mean, usual IT fix, uh, have you come out of it completely? Uh, have you closed whatever the system you're using and gone back in? This is my first thoughts. Nurses! Give her the poke. Wow, she's got some range. They're coming up behind me, I'm pretty sure. Oh, there she is. Makes life a lot easier if we can actually take them out in this room. Yeah, unfortunately I don't know the bit of software you're using. I've never used um I've never used that particular um uh EPR system, so General IT stuff, like like I said, coming out of the system, uh, closing the application which you use and back in again, uh, restarting the machine. You can't get rid of the message to do that. Um, if you press Control Alt Delete at the same time, and then go to what this should come up with a thing called Task Manager. Uh, what operating system are you on? Is it Windows 10 or is it Windows 7? Right. Friggin' nurses, what a bunch of jerks. Oh, we got some letters here. Some medical record or something for this Leonard guy. Could this be the same Leonard that Vincent was talking about? Windows 10. Yeah, okay, if you push Control or Delete and then go to Task Manager. Uh, your first, the very left tab on Windows 10's Task Manager, you should see uh, all of the open programs. You should be able to find your um, your electronic uh, medical record, your EMR system in there. Uh, I'll do that for you, Monkey, if you want. Uh, hold on a sec. Let me just tap out and sort that for you. Uh, you should be, you should see the program uh, with with uh, something like was it Greenway.exe or something similar in that first in that first one. And then what you can do, you can right click it and end process. Basically karma cooperative with a strong sense of justice, however, according to reports, comes very violent when overexcited. The other ones were named for Stanley Coleman. Usually passive and cowardly, also egotistical. Sometimes shows and acts an obsessive attachment to a particular woman. This has caused violent incidents. Use caution. Hmm, spooky. Hustlers. I think Heather's just looking at the notes, okay. Yeah, Control Shift Escape's another good one. Right, let's have a look around here then. How much damage do I take from the nurses? Uh, reasonable. I definitely took a few hits there. Probably better off shooting them if there's only a few. <laughs> hey, did it! Nice! Oh, it actually worked, did it? Excellent. So you might, it has killed the program. Does it reload? Does it launch again properly? Is it is it launching happily? Thank you very much for the bits, Pengy. Look at that delicious Pengy dropping delicious biddies. Thank you so so much for that. I'm gonna manually lewd on top of that. Lewd. Look at that lewd. Thank you so much, Pengy. That's really lovely of you. 
Just want to make sure it uh, happily reloads as well. Payment for IT support. I don't mind. I've got skills. If people need help, I can always help them. I'm not sure if they're very good skills, but you know, they're skills nonetheless. There are a bunch of different types of medicine, but none of it looks useful. Except for the ones I took. Ooh, there's a save point there. Yeah, relaunch, no problem, thank you. Yeah, no worries. That's a really good way. If you ever get stuck with many programs, Pengi, especially some of the crappy NHS ones, um, that's a really good way of doing that. It just, force, it just forces the program to kill itself quickly, and then you can um, open it back up without too much trouble. So, uh, I don't know if there's anything else in here, actually. Let's have a look. Heather's looking at something. Could be this. No? Ah. Maps. Glorious. Good, that's what I wanted. Thank you so much, Pengi. You are amazing for that. Hello, everyone who's joined us. Hope everyone's doing alright. Oh, if we just come back out the same door I went into, which is not quite what I wanted to do. Oh, the lock was actually broken. Okay. Okay, so we've got the cafeteria, kitchen, day room, pharmacy, etc. Et right, let's go have a look around. I really want that statue as well, Pumpkin. I think it'd be a fucking awesome one to have. It's a book. Tattoo goes. Kill Java and it stops crashing. Yeah, fucking Java. You missed the Pengi thing. No, Trapello, you missed it. Pengi dropped a thousand delicious biddies. What a lovely, lovely person Pengi is. Has the game always looked this good? No, this is the PC version, Rainus. <laughs> so it's running at like super resolution at like 4K textures and stuff. Trust me, the PS2 version does not look like this. This day has finally come. Gross. That's right, the day when you and I will meet. I was always thinking of you, here in this gloomy cell. I never even knew your name or face until today. But now I know. I know you're the one I've been waiting for. And how you've been waiting for me too? That's why you came to rescue me. Oh, how I love you, Heather. <gasps> I want to give you my prized doll I made to commemorate our meeting. The start of this everlasting love. Oh, I can always see your smiling face. Stanley. Disgusting. I won't touch that with a ten foot barge pole. We ain't taking the doll. Heather's having none of it. <laughs> I like that I like that Benky. I was like, no you slap. Ooh. It's just a flower pot, nothing special. I don't know what kind of plant this is. I love that Heather if you ask her to look at her stupid shit, she's just like, Well, I don't know what it is. What are you asking me for? What part of the game we are? We're at Brookhaven Hospital. We've just arrived in Silencio Hill. It lauked. Ah, shit. Okay, this is actually pretty good. We're actually keeping them fairly stunned off, which is quite nice. <laughs> Quiet, nurses! Stupid nurses. Alright, so we're in the this particular area. I think we've missed a couple of bits in the first room. So I'm going to go back there quickly and uh, finish up, which is over here. Uh, we can't get down here anyway. Tattoo's gonna be good in it, Iris. Better work when everything opens back up. Stanley Gimble! Which section of the game do you find the spookiest? Uh, probably the church bit towards the end, that I find quite creepy. I still think number one creepy creepy is uh, Silent Hill 1's uh, school. Has some real fucking Xbox huge like scares in there, some good stuff. We can go to the lift, which we don't want to do yet, actually. Fuck, American system. Uh, one is probably where we're at, I guess. Open doors. <laughs> right. Yeah, so Occupy, okay, okay. you got any uh, you got any ideas for names? You thought of anything? Hey Molotov. Hey Flying Murloc, how you doing? Haven't seen you in a while, how's things? Oh, the Pokemon trainer, nice. Which, which one in particular? <laughs> C 
could risk it for an ampule. Hmm. How much health have I got? Yeah, let's do it. She slapped me in the bum. It's basically legal. I think that's actually super worth it. Yeah, an ampule. I think an ampule is well worth it. Lude. <laughs> Davo, thank you, man. 28 months, dude. Thank you so much. Thank you very, very much for the huge amount of support you've given me, man. Thank you so much. You rock, Davo. Thanks, man. Hope you're doing well. What kind of adventures do I think I'll have? Hmm. Well, they're going to be following the Warrior of Light around, of course. So many, many fun adventures. Right, we've got any goodies in here. Another doll. Spooky. And a teddy bear. There are a lot of these things stuck to the wall. A cookie. A toothbrush. A spoon. A Christmas card. A clock. Whoever it was probably used glue, but why did they do this in the first place? Hmm, there's a key. There's a key glued to the wall. I'd love to take it with me, but it's really stuck. Can't even pull it off. Happy to support you, Mr. Wimble. Thank you, David. You rock, man. Seriously. Hello, Satris. Pretty good. Nice to be here again. How you doing, Wynn? I'm pretty alright, man. Pretty alright. Work's getting me down a little bit at the moment. It's a bit rough. Um, but otherwise, uh, yeah. Single hit for a full heal. Exactly, Yoshi. That's what I was thinking. Well worth. Oh, no. You got jabbed, did you, Al? You're right. It's a spooky nurse. Do they jab you with a rusty pipe? <laughs> The organization has me shut up in here. They mean to break my will to make me forget about all that, but I'll stay sane even if they throw me in here with the lunatics. How about if I stick this to the wall? That would be worthless. You can peel it off, can't you? With that with that junk those nasty wenches won't stop using. If a thing has no meaning, there's no reason for, me, for it to exist at all, just as you exist for me. But why haven't you taken my doll with you? Ah, uh, my gift must have embarrassed you. How cute you are, Heather. Stanley. Disgusting. <laughs> Heather's having none of it. She's not taking any of the dolls. It's also really creepy. It's like they're being written in real time. That's what I mean. Um, sorry, Pengy. What I meant was, is it like a particular type of the Pokemon trainer? Is it going to be like a, a female, male Pokemon trainer? Like, any, any particular uh, flavor of trainer you're going with? Right, so we need to go... We can't go to the stairs, we have to go to the lift, I think, and go up from there. Oh, thanks, Iris. Yeah. I got this. Plus, I've got... I've got something to look forward to when I get home with you lot, so I need to be going. Yeah, seriously, you get a million... You need a tetanus shot and a half just to fucking walk through this place. Okay, basement doesn't work. Second floor. Bing! Peng, you don't stab people all day. <laughs> what do you like? Or is it the good kind of stabbing? The healthy stabbing. This sword's actually a pretty decent weapon. Discord stang. What are you thinking, Murloc? Oh, female in the traditional Betty Page Pinot style with your favorite prick. Oh, that sounds awesome, Bengi. When you do get it done, I'd love to see it, if you're happy to show us. Set the bunk on the problems at work. That'd be amazing. Bunkle can uh, sort people out. You may not have realized your own true feelings, but you sense them unconsciously. And so you're trying to get close to me. That's a virtue. The path to paradise. If the door's locked, open it. Use the password for the prison gates. Doctor. I've forgotten his name. Anyway, that quack has it posted. He should be here too. I mean, four numbers would have been good enough, but he kept on going. Isn't it a shame? I'm not there. Aren't you irritated? I long for you. But you're so cruel. Still, I want you, Heather. Fucking Stanley. What a freak. There's a typewriter memo. What's it supposed to mean? The first is larger than the second. The second twice the third. The third smaller than the fourth, and the fourth is half the third. Print screen. I'm going to need that in a minute. Oh, fuck, there's multiple. Alright, hold on. 
Normally I write this down, but I ain't got a notepad with me. Right, so I'm just going to use the uh, I'm going to use paint and have it all in one place. A bit easier then. Right. Four of the numbers are not repeated. Three are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row. One of the numbers is the final key. Okay, so that's that's going to be the clue for the door, right? Tattoo designs are great, aren't they, Puck? It's giving you bad vibes. What's that, Pumpkin? The uh, the puzzle? Where's he living right now? Bunkle's right on my sofa, right next to me. I can, I can squeeze him here. Honk, honk! Good old Bunkle. Oh, can I? I just realised I can probably... Hold on. I'm going to risk it. I need to put the lid... Oh, dear. That's... Oh, no. I can probably get the lid on. <laughs> Lewd. There we go, nice. Lewd, you say? Lewd? Kales, thank you very much, Kales. Almost a year already. Thank you for keeping me entertained during this crazy time, Ween. Well, thank you for popping back in this crazy time and keeping me supported, dude. Appreciate that, Kales. I appreciate you, so thank you very much. Right, let's have a look at this puzzle then. So, the first is larger than the second. Okay, so, the second is twice of the third. So we know that it's gonna, it's gotta be something that, uh... So let, let's write this down. So, let's have a think. Uh, so, the first is larger than the second, but the second is twice the third, and the third is smaller than the fourth. So, what could be twice the third? But the third is smaller than the fourth, so... And the fourth is half of the first. Let's have a thing. So, the first is larger than the second, but the second is twice the third. But the third is smaller than the fourth. So if the third is smaller than the fourth, and the second is twice of the third... ...and the fourth is half the first... It's gonna have to be four, I guess? So that's gonna be eight. Let's think. Let's, let's think. Let's try that. So if we got eight initially, as the second number, maybe. No worries, Iris. So if if we have eight initially, the messages in this game, yeah, they get spoopy, don't they? Especially from that Stanley game. The third is smaller than the fourth, absolutely, and the fourth is half of the first. Well, that can't be right then. The fourth can't be. It can't be eight because the fourth has to be half of the first. But if if the first is eight, say, and the fourth is four, the second is twice the third, but the third is smaller than the third. So the third is three, and it's six. What about eight, six, three, four? Four of the numbers. Four of the numbers are not repeated, and then none of the numbers are repeated. We know that three are not in the top row. So that makes sense. Two are not in the right row, so let's have a look. Two are not in the right row. So let's try it, let's try it. Eight, six, three, four, let's try it. Eight, six, three... Fucking booyah. It's actually not a particularly difficult one, but it just requires you to read it a few times to work it out. There we go. So we've unlocked the door. So we need to qu let's quickly before we go any further. Let's have a look around. See if there's any more uh, places we can go. I do like I like number play, but like stuff like that. Lude. Oh, that was a loud lude. Loud lude. Oh, thank you, pumpkin. Let the power of Min Moon Deliscus Lude help you in this task. Keep up the good work. I have all of the faith in you. <laughs> so much faith. The faith is overflowing. <laughs> Lude. Thank you very, very much, Pumpkin, for the delicious, delicious donation. That's really, really nice of you. Pumpkin's been doing crazy, crazy nice donations lately. Thank you so much. Ooh, perfect. We need that. And perfume. The locker is closed tight. Ooh, there's a handbag there. 
Seriously, Pumpkin, that is a really, really lovely donation, so thank you so much. There are so many ludes. There are so many ludes. And Dread Reaper's extended their tier 1 sub through to November! Oh my god, Dread Reaper, thank you! Thank you for that as well! That's a long time to be subbed. You don't know if I'm a shitter or not. Well, you do if you've watched my- actually, you've watched my videos for years, you know I've, you definitely know I'm a shitter. Okay, so let's go down and get that key first. Because we got the nail, we got the nail pot removal. Let's quickly go get that. Seriously, pumpkin, thank you for the ten ten dollars. That's really lovely of you. And dread reaper, thank you very much as well for that. Show, showing a lot of faith. It's a lot of faith, Arthur. All right, we want to go this way then and use the nail polish. We're all wholesomely filthy. Mm, so filthy. I have the So Filthy one. Where is it? I need to fish it out. Where is So Filthy? It's under Sir? For Sir? Do we have a Sir? Mm. Which one is So Filthy? <sighs> Lude. <laughs> Lude. Lude. Oh, there it is. Oh, yes. So filthy. Oh, what a filthy maggot you are. Oh, yes. So filthy. This is a long one. Multiple mm, days. Yes. So filthy. That's like, that's Dolly's extra takes. You don't get to hear that very often. There's some extra filthy. Right, let's go to... Was it this room? Which one is it? It's... Oh, it's C4. We want, we want C4. Okay. Thank you for playing my favourite game. Well, let's stream it in general. You deserve all the support. Ah, you're lovely. You're absolutely, absolutely lovely, pumpkin. Cheers, Dread. You're a good man, Dread Reaper. Thank you very much. Ooh, stun gun batteries. Uh, right, we want to uh, drip filthy uh, perfume. So we use the nail polish remover. Use that on the key. Got the key. The stairwell key. Perfect. So we can now use the stairwell, which is good. So we should. Oh, it's actually bust. And I can't use this lift here, I guess. Nope. Back up we go. Oh, Kirby, you're gonna make me feel old, man. I've been watching some of your streams offline. When, uh, and when you are playing Vampire, get remind me what happened to the visual novel Vampire. Nothing in particular. I really enjoyed it. Then just got. Oh. Then just. Where are they coming from? Nothing, nothing happened to it per se, I just became a huge shitter and forgot to carry on. Not forgot per se, but I got distracted by loads of different... Different video games. Ow, don't hit me. Bitch. Ooh. Ooh. So yeah, I do plan on doing it again, Murloc, absolutely, because it was really fun. Right, back to the elevator then. After we dealt with that problem, how much is my health? Yellow. Oof, I've been taking quite a lot of damage in this area so far. Bit of a nuisance. Gotta be a little bit careful. Hey, Keel. How are you feeling, dude? Right, back up we go then. So we got the key. Oops. We got the key and we got the stairwell key, which is good. Distracted by old vampire. Yeah, seriously. You wonder about the past notes? Which past notes? Casually turn the TV down. What? No, Froggy, own it. Own it, Froggy. Let everyone know you're watching something lewd. Sla slap on something filthy really loudly. Uh, dominate it. I might, I might shoot these guys for, um... Might be easier to shoot them. How much ammo do I have? Is the question. I'm gonna quickly check. Where's my ammo at? I've got 110. I've got plenty of shotgun. Oh, that's... Lude. Lude. Hey, games! Thank you very much for the bits, man. Whoa, she got a gun! Holy shit, that nurse is packing! <laughs> Lude. Oof. 
Walk. Live next to school makes you feel awkward. Ah, it just means let's have a conversation sooner rather than later, I guess. <laughs> Thanks, games. Appreciate it, man. And thank you, Jack. Always love to see you, Jack. Thank you very much for 22 months, dude. Thank you very much for the support, Jack. You are fabulous, fabulous man, like always. Ooh, it's a morg. Morgu. I actually didn't notice that very well. I didn't realise the notes were disappearing. It's a man's corpse laid out on the stretcher. The hand that's sticking out of the street has something written on it. Oh. The start time is my key. Okay. There's a medical record. Could this be for the dead guy? Unknown, unknown, background and age. Not admitted patient. Found in poor mental state on the hospital grounds and temporarily installed in the room M4 at Chief's discretion. Died late tonight from blood loss due to a severed cartoid artery. Was grasping own kitchen knife in right hand, assuming this was cause of neck wound. Possible suicide, but wound angle suspicious. Sent to second floor treatment room for further investigation. Have received no proof or corroboration of event from patient residing in the same, residing in the same room. Have not notified police. However, for future necessity, leave victim's bed and effects intact. Room M4. Is it... Has it got a key? Has it got a time of death? Mm, just night. No. Okay. Yeah, Jag, we did some um, Dead by Daylight. Went really well, actually. It's good times. Ah, uh, the Castlevania 64 one makes me sad because that fucking exploding section made me angry. <laughs> Seriously. Right. Oh, another note from uh, Stanley. It's a raid! It's a Kika raid! Hello, everybody! Hello! Hello, everyone. Hope you're all doing well. How did the Pokemon go, Kiko? I'll let you guys read that on the screen, uh, rather than me talk over everyone popping in a sec. It went well. It is over. What, the game you've done? You're done with Pokemon now? You're finished? The final Legendary record. Oh, well done! Was it? I, I did see briefly Sweet Soon was last, right? Was it Sweet Soon you were going for? That alarm clock and filthy bag. He was a liar. Hmm. How many uh, Ultra Balls did it take to catch Sweet Soon in the end? Was it quite? Was it quite a large one? Was Sweet Soon running away as well? I can I can cut it open to show you. I love Heather. No, something a bit more forceful. I love Heather. Isn't enough for what I feel. Oh dear. Stanley's getting a bit creepy. Oh. Will I turn off the alarm? Yes. The pillow is stained and sticky with blood. Is this from the tattooed guy? I've got a bad feeling. Only enough, not too many. He did run away a bit until we found... Oh, were you... Do you have to use, um, Paralys? Oh, this is... This is obvious. Okay, I need to look at the uh, time on the alarm clock then. So what is that? That is... Five, six, seven, that's eight. So it'll be 0802, maybe? Do you reckon? Or if he died in the evening, would it be a 24 hour clock? No, he died in the evening, so it would be 0... 0802? 0208 or 1408, yeah. Yeah, let's go with o I reckon o I reckon O two O eight because it's um he died in the evening was the clue. So let's try that. Hey Cav, how are you doing? Let's try O two O eight. Let's try that one. Yeah, nice. Yeah. The cl the clue was when he snuffed it, so it was kind of. I got an instant camera. There's nothing else interesting in the case. Hmm, bummer. He does have a box of tissues next to a TV though. Dirty. 
So now you've caught now you've uh, caught all the Pokemans. Are you are you like I said you were all pretty much all finished? And didn't did the DLC for Armor Island come out today as well, or was it or was it yesterday? I forget. Oh, something new next week. Oh, very nice. Right, right. Hello, Nazis. Please don't slap me. It's extremely rude. Again, it's honestly, it's almost certainly worth it to take take a quick hit to get uh, a health kit like that. So, and we got a broken lock. Okay, fine. So we got a camera. Now, where can we use a camera? Is the question. The examining room three. Can we take a picture of his body? I wonder if that'll show us anything. It, it, it might not. It might, the clue might have simply just been for the... Um... No. Okay. It's today, is it, Pinky? Oh, are you excited? Alright, I guess we go next floor up, guys. Alright, I think we'll just try and book it past the nurses. Okay. Trying to make snuff porn. God damn it. Stop giving my clues away. So, where? We couldn't go for the stairwell there or there. Hmm, that's interesting. Let me come out of this. Let's have a think. So the stairwell Please. key is stuffed. Thank you, Kiel. You feel a bit better today? It was a bit too hot. Yeah, I've heard it's been it's been hot all over Europe today. Actually, we've been fairly fortunate. It's been not too bad here, but very thundery and now very humid. It's time to start out the vod and uh, wind down. All right, dude. Thank you very much, Kiko. I will try not to snuff it. I appreciate the raid, man. It's always lovely to see you and everyone who comes along with you as well. And Cav just dropping in, dropping sick clues as well. So I appreciate that, man. <laughs> all right, we need to figure out where we're gonna go then. So. Oh, there's a stairwell right here. I'm being stupid. Okay, so we... Hold on, where do we go? Jump out here, take a right. Miss corridor, right. Okay, let's go. Oh, we got, We have to open it this way, don't we? Okay, here we go. Take a right. And then go in there. Cool. Right. Left. Uh, we can go to the basement, probably. I guess go to the basement, first of all. We might be able to unlock all the other doors as well. Oh, interesting. Lude. Can we? Did we not go here before? Oh, we did. There's an examining room too here. Hmm, whatever. Dread Reaper, thank you very much again, man. Thank you for the bits there, dude. Look at that sick Alice bits. Ooh. Oh. Lude. Oh my god, we've got loud lude going on. Deliciously loud. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Thank you, Nick. Five dollars sixty-nine. Just once again before I uh, thank Nick once more. Uh, Dread, thank you very much for the hundred biddies there, dude. Thank you very much for that again. It's really kind of you. And thank you, Nick, as well, man. Thank you very much for your lovely test of one, two, three ludes. <laughs> you know how much I love the ludes, man. Uh, spooky, uh, scary, spooky things there in the basement. I like the loud ludes. We all love the loud ludes, and Nick is a frequent purveyor of loud ludes. It's a wheelchair. Where is the person who was using it? <laughs> That's so creepy. <laughs> love it. Also, a uh, quick shadow porn here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that real time shadow. Like, for a game in 2003, that's really nice. Really, really nice. It's not, it's not perfect, it is baked, if you actually look. But it's really nice. Well, I actually, I don't know if it's baked, but it's certainly probably not as directional as it could have been. But very, very clever. Very clever. So hot. Whee! She was looking the same before the wheelchair. I was wondering that, but I wonder if... I think Heather was just twigging towards the wheelchair. Oh, no. You're right. Submachine gun bullets. Good spot. Good spot. Thanks, Fairy Wolf. Yeah, I hope you're doing well, Nick. Hope things are good with you. Oh, a submachine gun. 
There's something really funny about how they're using a submachine gun. The blood trail continues into the elevator. Part of me wants to peek in, but then it's a little creepy too. It's all just junk. I don't think there's anything important here. Oh no. Streaks of blood. So if something got dragged, it would continue on to the back of the shelf. No, it's more like they start from the back of the shelf. There's a suspicious space between here and the wall. But I can't squeeze into there. There's no way I can move the shelf either. However... We do have a camera. Rat -a -tat 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 -tat. I don't know what I'm doing. There's a really funny comic about that. I'm gonna have to see if I can find it in a second. This is such a great use of the great use of this. It's really clever. Nine seven six one. Spooky. Uh, before we continue, I'm gonna see if we can find it because it's really quite funny. Hold on. Uh, uh, if I can find it, it is really good. Yeah, it's it's a it's a parody of um a Daredevil one. Some of you, some of you might recognize it, but uh, here we go. I'll uh, I'll upload it in a second. Uh, right. If we scroll up and go to image five, sorry, I went with two sacks. Oh, Nikolai. You so muscly. There you go. <laughs> I thought it was quite fitting. 90210, isn't that the cop show? It's good, isn't it? <laughs> it's a parody of this. Uh, if I can find, I'll find the original. Which is, which is admittedly is also quite funny. Oh, uh, fucking Google. Oh god. It's a parody of the dead of. Oh god, sorry. This this parody is super small. Sorry, uh, but I can. I'll show you. Am I spooking you? F uh, was I spooking you? Um, Secret Fury. Sorry. This is this is the parody of what it is. This blind man using a big machine gun. <laughs> it's such a, it's such a good parody though. I love it. Like fucking Silent Hill. Oh Heather, Heather too Heather too good. Have I, have I got anything else that's uh? I got a lot of very unwholesome pictures, like this. Poor Cloud. He's got the fear. Alright. <laughs> Lurk mode activate. Hey, I'll just off him. Didn't see you spotted in there. Hey, you doing, Anna? You alright? Your Galaxy S5 shit tier mic does not pick up the words. No, oh, I see what you're doing. No, I see what you're doing. Try to set my giggle off. No, 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 no. Alright, I, I, I stopped it that time. Fucking thing. <laughs> Lewd. I don't know if we have any codes for this. The wall sky with bullet marks. The hell can they have been shooting at? Yeah, how you doing, Elder Stoffin? I've been alright. You good? Thank you, Pumpkin. Yeah, you rused me, Archus. You rused me. Thank you very much for the biddies, Pumpkin. Poor Crook. Better not squeeze it too hard. <laughs> Cloud doesn't... Cloud uh, has the fear now. There's spooky noises. We're on the third floor now. It is better than the second floor. It's locked. There's a keypad, which we know the code to, but, you know, we'll sort that in a minute.
There's a memo on the wall. Punishment for brutality towards patient. 12 hours confinement in the special treatment room. Dismissal policy no longer in effect. Contact the chief if you have any questions. There's something handwritten on top of the uh, typewritten sentence. The trick is to not leave any marks. And one other thing. This looks like it's written by a different person. The chief is a pervert. Christy would have been better off if she'd been fired. Uh, sorry, Christy. Christy's got a little gribbly in there. Local ween look, eyeballs a nurse, gets hit in the face. Lude. Heavy breathing. You can now loot at will. Have you shut? Have you shut the thing? Are you now safe? Yeah, seriously. It was Heather. It was Heather before. She forgot and was just fucking plugging the hole. Uh, the walls with holes. And going, Blah! How the fuck does this work? You're escaping life via your stream for a bit. Well, welcome back, Eldritch Dolphin. It is lovely to have you back. Flowing freely, your ebony hair like the night sky. Scattering fragrance. My heart, clamoring in my chest like a storm, you trifle with it. Your pristine glance like a feast when you smile. My thoughts disturbed. My breath like opium. It drives me mad. Eric. A great poet who conveys my feelings so well. I shouldn't have let this place get to me. Should never have gone crazy. But it's superbly enjoyable to drown in my love for you. But why won't you accept proof of my love? I don't stand on ceremony now. After all, you and I exist as one. What I give to you is the same as what I give to me, Stanley. I don't have ebony hair. You've never used bits before. Lewd. Oh yeah, Froggy, you looted the will. I just realized you did the biddies. Thank you so much, Froggy. How's it feel to loot at will? To feel good. Thank you, Kill. The lewdest of loot loots. I'll tell you what my pet peeve in video games is. Like, right up. Games that penalize you for saving. Like, unless it's like the super hard difficulties. Because that is super mean. Stun gun battery. I never use the stun guns. Nothing but cleaning supplies in this locker. Yeah, because I'm sure bleach and stuff wouldn't be handy. Oh no, let's not take that. Then that'd be ludicrous. Lude. Have all my bits, arbitrary. Thank you, Hinty. I will. It's very kind of you. Thank you. Oh, so now it actually comes up to this floor. Fucking scam. Is that all of the rooms here done? Oh no, this one. The day room, which is Lude. also locked. Shall lewd. Thank you, vamp. The only nice thing about Heather's story, they didn't uh, bring her back some jacked up horseshit sequel. Yeah, they did. Uh, Heather had like Heather had her story and it was done, which is actually really nice. Like that a lot. Uh, did we take a picture? We should have the picture right of the uh, code. That's the that's the uh, backstory of the game. I didn't fucking keep the code. Oh, it's probably in memos actually. Ah, photo uh, on the chair. No, it's that one. Back side of the shelf. There we go. Nine seven six one. Cool. Welcome back, Davo. Nine seven six one. Yeah, so I was playing uh, Heather in Dead by Daylight, because I thought it was appropriate. And uh, she's a lot of fun. She's really cool. Oh, that'd be quite fun, actually, yeah. A crazy, like... Oh, actually, I was going to say something that's a bit spoiler if you haven't seen the game. But, uh, yeah. I, I won't say any more for now, but yeah, that'd be really cool. <gasps> Yay! It's a magazine, some kind of gossip meg. Teaching despair. Hope House. Hope House is an orphanage built on the outskirts of Silent Hill, but behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Hope House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society, a charity organization sometimes called the 4S. 
It's true that the 4S is a well-respected charity that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope. But at its heart, it is a heathen organisation that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. Mr Smith, temp, who lives near Hope House, had this to say, Sometimes at night I can hear their weird prayers and the sounds of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me right out, since then it hasn't changed a bit. In fact, this reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photo uh, photographs in the facility. What exactly do the folks at Hope House, had to, uh, Hope House have to find? During my investigations, I was able to discover... Oh, excuse me. I was able to discover, however, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower which appears to be part of their facilities. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what the tower was used for, but it seemed unlikely it had anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may be, in fact, be the prison or a secret place of worship. Is that the water tower from Silent Hill 4? I assume it is, actually. The cult religion that operates Hope House is simply known by the locals as The Order. It's a religion that deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but it worshippers, its worshippers fervent belief that they are among the elite's chosen people has a dark and dangerous side. I intend to continue my investigation of Hope House and the cult behind it. I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. Oh, it is! It is! It is! It's, it's, it is the same uh, note from 4, because it's Joseph who wrote it. Hope House. I feel like I've been... I've heard that name before. Joseph Schreiber, or whatever his name is, is the guy who lived in room 30... Uh, Henry's room. 302. Before Henry did, I'm pretty sure. Peels. Tissue and an alarm clock. Huh. Clock's broken, but otherwise no big deal. Tissue is dirty. Right, what's in the examination room? I'm kind of tempted to get the uh, stabby out rather than the shooty. Just in case we run into any nurskis really quickly. But it makes sense when you do a sequel that you like incorporate stuff like that in there, because that's quite funny. Mmm, jerky. I never use the jerky. I really should. Lewd. Hey, Kyrnos! Watching you with a friend. Fell I should show you what your stream is all about with a lewd. Thank you, Kyrnos! And uh, hello to Kyrnos' friend. Hello. Hope you're doing well. Thank you very much for the bits, Kyrnos. It's always lovely to see you. Oh no, the doll's been broken. The doll's all torn apart. It's really pretty sad to look at. I wonder who did it anyway. So much ludes. Are you going to play the new DLC for Pokemon? Mm, probably eventually, but not yet, I think. You haven't bought bits in a while? <gasps> hmm. Thinking you made you. Goodbye, Heather. I'm sorry I wasn't able to respond to your love. It's all over. Leonard despises me because I made fun of it, saying it would come to this. If it weren't for his meddling, I would have been able to meet you in just a little while. Then I could have taken you to my world. A world for us alone, more beautiful than this one. And I had been waiting for this day, for today. The day I'd see you, the day you'd save me. Today. Heather, watch out for him. Leonard is no ordinary guy. Farewell. I loved you. Heather, my goddess. Heather, my lover. Heather, my... <gasps> Nurse kids. I think there's a nurse behind us as well. Ah, there's two nurses. Right, I'm gonna give them the shooty bang bang, because we're gonna try and save some health if we can here. Where's my gun at? It's not normally I wouldn't go through and murder most of the, most of the nurses, but honestly, the ones with the guns are so dangerous that you gotta get rid of them. We love Luz, we do. Five minutes of we stream, your friend never speaks to you again and goes, you goddamn degenerate. <laughs> Please all spam Luz for Natalie. Oh, hello, Natalie. It's fine, she knows you're a degenerate. You got the two booty mouse mat. Delicious. 
two booty. I've still got my horse grill mouse mat. Honk honk. It's squidgy. Squidgy, squidgy, squidgy. <laughs> Lude. Hey, Vamp Shadow, thank you so much. Thank you for the tier one sub. Thanks very much, Vamp. I hope you enjoy the uh, lovely emotes and everything we've got. And I hope you're enjoying your stay here. Alright, let's check all the room roomage. So we're at eight, are we? I always find this quite creepy. Thanks very much, Vamp. I really appreciate the sub, dude. Please excuse the slightly out of sync cutscenes. I can't do anything about that. I've tried. Stupid PC version. Hello? Claudia. No, I'm not. Don't lie to me, Claudia. You are always trying to run from your responsibilities. Have you come to apologize? Or maybe you still don't realize how foolish you've been. Vincent, this is your mother. Of all mankind. Ah, what a ridiculous dream. Wait, just listen to me for a second. I've heard enough from you already. How did you turn out this way? Where did I go wrong? Listen to me already. I didn't know Heather had my mum's phone I'm number. not Claudia. My name is Heather. Heather. Who are you? I do remember you, Shadow Wolf. Hello. Let Welcome to the streams. I'm sorry. I thought ah, nice one, Dread Reaper. We have loot there. Claudia is your daughter? Oh, so you know her. Are you one of her followers? No, never. When I find her, I'm... I can feel the hatred. What? Behind your words. You fancy looting? Delicious nudes. You plan to kill her, don't you? I'm sorry, but... She... She killed my father. She's a fool, but she's still my daughter. I was going to forgive her if she changed her way. You seen Gerald, little girl, about this high? It's too late. Dark hair. Heather, will you help me? Help you? I'm locked up in here, and I must stop Claudia. Where are you now? I'm not sure myself. But the door is at the end of the hall on the second floor. I think I can be of help to you. Aliens. I have a seal. Hey, Holly. Please. A seal? A seal? Fifth. Egg. 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 Fifth. Ah. Oh. End of hall on the second floor. Nice. Well, there's nothing interesting in or around the bed. Well, that's upsetting. Right, there we go. <laughs> Lude. I got rid of the seal emote. We got rid of the emote. Like, I had to get rid of a few of them quite a long time ago now. S sadly. Uh, okay, so we need to go to the second floor. Door at the end of the second floor. That would be M6, I guess. But it was locked last time we were there. Quiet one, thank you very much for the resub, quiet one. Two deliscus mums. Ludes do equal power cure in us, I agree. Thank you very much, quiet one. That's really lovely of you. And I'm very, very grateful for your support. So thank you. Quiet seal crying noises. Boop. <laughs> sad, sad fish. Second floor. Beep. Yeah. Hey, ladies. Uh oh. Let's 
Ladies, ladies. Oh, nice one. Okay, pumpkin. Oh, Holly did some Dead by Daylight with uh, Froggy and um, and Pumpkin and Ollie earlier. It was actually really cool. But he got horribly murdered. Though we, did, we actually did escape on one of them. This was the uh, this was the hallway I used in the footage for my one thousand videos. Uh, my one thousand videos uh, video. I use this. I use this. The near footage. I use no. I use near music to Silent Hills. Uh, to Silent Hill uh, footage here. This reminded me. That takes me back. Yeah, Geometry Man. It is in Dead by Daylight. It was very fun. We didn't see Geometry Man though. We saw Spooky Ghost Girl, Michael Myers, and um, the Demi Gorgon from Stranger Things. map this area. I love that the game always does the transitions in like different ways. It's actually quite interesting. Oh, dead end. Rip. Rip see. I'm lost. Not that way. Basic bitch breakfast tea. What's breakfast tea? You mean the way I say aliens? Fucking aliens. Aliens are scam artists. Glad you all have fun. I hate to recommend a game and you all like this blows. Yeah, seriously, right? Guys, I really like this game and I think you should try it. Okay. Buy game. It sucks. And you're all like, I'm like, Holly, what the fuck, man? What the fuck? You said this was good. Did you lie to me? Did you just like see me suffer? Oh, well, that's rude. This picture, this one doesn't make my head hurt when I look at it. But I know this one. It must be... That's what usually I'm trying to recommend La Mulana. I tried, I actually, because I remember you talking about La Mulana, I tried trying it and I played for about 45 minutes and I don't think I got anywhere. I think I just got my ass kicked. It's really fun, but it's really hard. You know you're worried about silence for that reason. <laughs> no, I'm sure that looks really nice. Very, very pretty as well. It's more like watching a video in a dark room. But that nurse, I know her. Lisa. Who was so heavenly towards me in that hellish hospital room? She did get a little weird though. This bit's awesome. Look at that boy. Look at that boy up there. It's our boy Valtier. There's a tentacle. This nurse, this nurse lady has a unique model as well. It's really interesting. Like you don't see, you don't see this particular nurse. I think you see this nurse model one other place. And it's Valley, and she's related to um, Valley Boy as well. Again. Alright, Rainus. Oh, dude. Uh, please be careful, fucking wasps. I doubt I need to check this out. Let's try avoiding this type of thing if I can. It looks like there's a piece of meat or something on the ground. 
The lock is broken. It's kind of gribbly. Oh, there's loads of doors being checked there, actually. That's quite upsetting. The transition in there is really cool. There's a dead body hanging from the ceiling. The blood dripping from it has totally filled the bucket set out below. Who would do this and what for? It looks like a full out bloodletting. Do they, Leon? I didn't realize that. Very squishy. Oh, honestly. Fuck it, I just heard wasp nest and poison and foam, like, eesh. Blood Bowl seems to be getting you... Is it... What, Blood Bowl? Are you talking about blood, uh, the actual football game Blood Bowl, um, Dolphin? That game's great. It's just fucking stupid, though. Oh, dear. You need a mouse mat with boob support. Squidgy boob mouse mats are literally the best. True story. I actually don't know if any of these doors are open. I'm also kind of having trouble telling which ones are doors. <laughs> or is it just me? Mm. I don't think some of these are actual doors. It says there's a door like right here. Oh, there we go. It's broken. Uh, okay, we missed S3, wherever that fucking may be. Like here? Here. Oh. Ah, oh, okay. The hand outside the window. <laughs> it's like the fucking hand from Majora's Mask. Paper! No, you're not allowed paper. Go away. I'm asking if I missed the answer or you missed the question. Have I ever played Siren or Clock Tower? I've played one of the Siren games. Uh, I've never played a proper Clock Tower game, though I've played... Um, Though I've played um, Haunting Ground, which is was apparently originally a Clock Tower game, but I haven't played an actual Clock Tower game. In the vacant building after the sewer, on the wall that can be broken real corpse, and sold as next suppressor. Really? Okay, that's pretty cool. The only problem I had with the Siren game when I tried it was I had very I had a lot of difficulty seeing it because of the film grain. I have a lot of um, visual snow in my eyes. Uh, anyway, it always it always looks like it's raining really heavily, I guess, for me, for lack of a better term. Uh, so games with heavy film grain, including this one, actually, I can I can have a lot a bit of difficulty seeing. And the siren's very, very heavy on that, which makes it quite tricky. Ooh. Sorry, Heather. Almost got you killed. Rip. Hooey! Exactly, stuff. Hooey. <laughs> Uh, we need to go... Oh. Ah! Ah! The board! The board! I didn't think Siren's on PC. I... I think oh, we can go in here. I didn't check the rest of the places though, which immediately has ruined everything. Sorry. I've now got to check the rest of the places. There may be secrets. Oh no, it's this fucking... The mirror room is amazing. It is, it's gotta be, it's the creepiest room in the game, I think. It's just so, so nasty.
Oh, it almost killed me as well because I was fucking around in there too long. Ah, bollocks. Okay. Um, yeah, ampule is in. At least I think it almost killed me because I was fucking around in there too long. Yeah, the mirror room is really creepy, and it serves no purpose. What's up with that room? It, literally nothing. It, it, there is no purpose in there. It's just, it's just to fuck with you. Seeing the blood sleek around the floor, go into the bathtub, come out the other side, and spread onto Heather. And then, of course, Heather's reflection stops moving, and you're like, oh, shit. All right, Pengy. Where are we currently, I wonder? I guess we're on the third floor. The third, the third clock tower, do you mean? Or the third siren? Oh, bollocks. Sorry. There is a SNES version of clock tower one, isn't there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the merry-go-round stuff's great as well. It looks like something's on the other side of the glass. It kind of looks like a person. But the smoky stuff makes it hard to tell for sure. Tell me that isn't creepy, right? <laughs> It's Nurse Lady again, yeah. And it's Nurse Lady and um, Valley in that room. I don't know what he's doing to her. It's kind of weird. But yeah, that's, that's the, they're the two places she appears in the game. It's so weird. Yeah, she, yeah, she is in that weird Silent Hill music video, isn't, isn't she? Oh, uh, that, that, it's like, um, it's like that, that weird Silent Hill music video, right? All right, Nero. Good night, dude. Have a good one. That's so creepy. That's the, uh, it's a music video with, like, Pyramid Head and stuff in it. Right, right. Silent Hill 3 is definitely my, um... I'd say Silent Hill 1 just squeaks it out to be my fave, I think purely for nostalgia. But Silent Hill 3 is probably the best, like, my fave otherwise, I'd say. It's really good. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Oh, I forgot your name. Who are you? Oh, okay, thanks. Happy birthday, dear. Who are you? Happy birthday to you. Happy 31st birthday. Is this Leonard? That's the murderer's name, not my name. I'm not your beloved Stanley, either. He's underground now. His new name That's is... That's a pretty good dad joke. <laughs> number seven. <laughs> but don't worry about that now. It's time to celebrate your birthday. You've got me mistaken for someone else. Today's not my... I'm not mistaken. Today is your 24th birthday and I have a present for you which do you hit me 31 hey thanks <laughs> appreciate that man pain or to receive it you can have the one you hate the most I didn't know uh, my mum was on the phone again <laughs> happy birthday to you but you're wrong. It's 
not my birthday. Stupid pinhead, it's not my birthday. We have such sights to show you, Heather. You solved the box. No, I didn't. Oh, fuck. It's not my birthday. Uh, I'm Chip the Woman's Locker Room. Oh, well, I just pick up that I didn't check properly. Three, three she's got some really, really wicked cool imagery. This is one of my favorite things about it. It's just some really, really funky, fucked up imagery. Um, so what do we pick up there? Ah, plastic bag. A totally ordinary transparent plastic bag. Fantastic. And some perfume. There's a bloodstained white robe. Does it mean anything? Mouse mouse and Discord non IRL ludes. Something strange is cop is cooped up in the locker. I think I'm safe, I shouldn't get too close. It's a paper bag, nothing but garbage. Alright, I'm gonna have a quick look at I wanna have a look at this mouse mat. That's also really creepy. Lord. So it's in uh, non IRL loot, is it? Okay. Stupid. Oh, that's in the, that's in the archives for some reason. Oh, nice. She got a big butt. <laughs> Two booty. She got a big ass. Very nice. Hey, Kane. Other 17 share with 7, less with 7. Yeah. Alright, anyway. Oh, is that Claudia? Oh. Also, that second picture there, this the lower of the two, that one, that's really creepy. Look at that. The fuck? Alright, so we want to go take a right out of here and then take another right, I guess. Pardon me, come through. Broken, so we can. Oh. oh, they're gone. They're not in that. Ah! Not in that right now. Yeah, my birthday is relatively soon actually. It's getting there. It's my mother's birthday tomorrow actually. No, I can't see it, mind you, because of the pandemic, but uh, I will. Uh, number one. Ding. I will give her a phone call. My birthday is July the 12th. That is my birthday. I hear gribblers. Best birthday. I know, Okay, Cat. High five, dude. <laughs> Any birthday plans? Pretty much none. Can't, can't make any. I, um, my friend wants to come see me, but because I work in a hospital, we can't, I can't really see her, probably. Um, because it's risky for her, more than anything. Video call, my mum. That requires my mum knowing how technology works. Yeah, good luck with that. The world is teeming with unnecessary people. It's God's decision that I fight. As a knight of honour... No you. Disgusting. As a protector of the seal, I sacrifice myself to the blood of criminals. Who wrote this? Some twisted individual, huh? I see this and I want to ask him. So you think you're one of the necessary ones? It seems like I've heard this protector of the seal business before. Hello. Tiddy light. Tiddy light, tiddy light. Oh, nice one, Fury. Yeah, damn right, train. July birthday represent. Why is a deviant sweating in a bush? 
Where did it? Oh, nice one, Iris. You got a nice winter birthday. Very fine, very fine. All right, let's go down mm. to the kitchen. Thank you for the loot times. Really helps the dressel times well. Best stream at 11 out of 10. Oh, thank you, Bumpkin. Well, thank you very much again for the loots. Seriously, that's really absolutely amazing of you again. Pumpkin, legit, lewd, donator, 10 out of 10. 11 out of 10. Uh, this place is full of scum and villainy. Ah, shit. Ooh, an ampule. I think we checked pretty much every single door there, didn't we? Thank you very much for the biddies, Pumpkin. Delicious biddies. Honestly, Pumpkin, you're on, like, donation fire tonight. Thank you so much. Mine's in August. It's normally quite hot, probably, when yours is. I always used to have, like, really hot, spicy birthdays. Bad times. For a person who hates wasps, trust me, July is not the best time to have a birthday. There's a memo here on the chart. Dr. Midriff. Beer. Please use extra caution with the patient in room 312. <gasps> room 312. Not quite, but close. He should still have his religious freedom here in the hospital, but he shouldn't push his faith on others. I'm a victim, too. Rumour has it he got here by stabbing someone over a religious dispute, so please be careful. R. Crosby. P.S. It looks like the rumour is true. According to the head nurse, I do think he's a good person otherwise, though. Easy to deal with. So there's a saviour room here. How's my health looking? Mm, okay, actually. Yeah, July can be pretty sweaty. Welcome back, Renus. How is the, uh, how's the waspies? Alright, um, we need to go visiting room, stairwell, and that's it, I think. And examination room. Oh god, it's dead end. Bitch has got a gun! Oh, uh, okay, this is a fabulous dead end. A bitch has still got a gun! Give that bitch a cannon. Bitches love cannons. I think we got pretty much everything. Didn't. Ah, we missed the reception office. Fuck, what do you reckon the chance of having something decent in there is? Ugh. Mm, risk it, risk it, risk it, or don't risk it. Shit, that's annoying. There could be something decent there. That bitch has a gun. Oh, but Snow's really good, Dread. Snow's awesome. Whilst I hopefully dead and dying, had trouble reaching the nest proper though. Oh man, I hope you got them all. F horrible fuckers. I really vamp. Stay safe though, dude. Not nice if that's all going on. Always risk it. Agreed. Let's do it. That bitch has got a gun! Ah yeah. oh, no, you, sh you just shoved me over like a real prick. Well, that was worth it then, because there's something in here. Potentially. Really? Really? There's literally nothing in here. God damn it. Do I like cold temperatures? Yes, I much, much, much prefer cold than I do warm. Is there actually anything in here, Heather? Use your magical head of swivel. Swivel, f swivel for yes, Heather. Fuck. Yeah, Man Manchester's such, just such a big city. That's the problem. Like any any time you get like huge cities like that, you're always gonna have uh, potential risk. Stay safe, Vokey kid. Stay safe to everybody, guys. That's you know it's important. You gotta look after yourselves. Basement one. Basement two. Basement three? Okay, basement two. Oh, nice. High five them for me, Fury. You know, with gloves on from a distance. Number seven. He. That's uh, our friend. Can't do anything with him. I 
I hear whispers. There's a puzzle in here, but I'm not quite sure. There's a lock. Uh, can I touch the lock? Aha. Uh -huh. It's got to decide which uh, which numbers to go with, I guess. Well, the the four the four numbers are seven three one six. Is that the same as the combination from on the photo? Rude. On the photo, I wonder. Stay safe and loot, everyone. Exactly, Kyo. It's much better when it's colder. You can always put a jumper on. Exactly. Otherwise, you're going to get nudie. 9761. No, it says different. So it could be 7316. Hmm, I don't know what the order would be. I guess just try it. I think there's a clue somewhere what the order would be, but I don't have it, so... Not that, then. Hmm... The number of the trolleys could be the clue of what uh, order they should be in. No, I think the number of the trolleys is probably actually on them. I'm probably missing some context or a clue somewhere, would be my first thought. Check the right side of the pitch on the furnace. Oh yeah! Two, one, four, three. I I didn't notice that. Yeah. Okay. So middle one. So it goes middle right, other side left. So that's going to be three one six seven then. Okay. Nice. Thank you very much. Didn't notice that. Three. One. Nice. Nice one, indeed. Welcome back, Froggy. Cremated key. Alright, well, we're in the basement. Basement, basement? We're not even on the map, actually. So, what, what have we found a room that's actually locked? Um, hmm. The day room, potentially? Yeah, I guess the day room could could be is could be locked. Hmm. I'm trying to think if there's any other rooms that would be I don't see any other rooms. That's the stairwell, we can get to one of the stairwells. The stairwells all look locked off actually. Uh, I wonder if we can go through the day room and take the, get the stairwell on in that side. So let's do that then. A lot of people aren't wearing masks um, in general, actually, I've noticed. Alright, pumpkin. There we go. Good 
that bitch kick. Ooh. Hi, Dread Reaper. Thank you very much for all the lovely, lovely support today, dude. Much appreciated, my man. Take care of yourself, alright? Pull oh, my devil trigger. <laughs> you had to pull the devil trigger! Oh my lord! Thank you very much, Kiranas! Pull my devil trigger! Thank you very much, dude! That's extremely lewd. Your friend was, uh, was Natalie, wasn't it? How's, how is, uh, how is your friend finding all the, the lewd streamage? Thank you very much for that, Kiranas. Oh no. Happy first birthday. Oh, this room is extremely bogus. We out. Seriously, Kyrnos, that is really lovely, man. Much appreciated. Oh, this is shit. Fail. Oh, I killed this son of before. How's my health, anyway? She's subbing now. She's another loody convert. Yay! Thank you for converting to the power of ludes. Everyone sees the light eventually. And by light, I mean filthy, filthy, filthiness. Seriously though, Kuranos, thank you very much for the support, man. There's a stretcher here. Not like your usual stretcher. This one seems more like an altar. Lit candles, a knife, and is that blood I smell? Did they worship that picture? Or something in the picture? title is Lost Memories. Natalie here. I'm ready for some spicy loots. Oh, nice. Also, Fairy Dagger is a fucking awesome, awesome username. Welcome, Natalie. Thank you for joining us. One characteristic mentioned only in rare documents and dying out in the modern age is that of the ritual sacrifice. Offering prayers, pierce a man's chest with a copper stake, drench the altar in the blood which spouts red from the heart to praise and show loyalty unto God. In another sacrificial rite mentioned in the same book, the victim is burned alive. This is a more dignified ceremony, dignified what? In which prisoners and sinners were not allowed to participate. Only the clergy could be sacrificed. Similar to burning at the stake, no comparable rite can be found in religious practice nearby. It may have some connection with the main deity being a sun god. Mm. Even though this religion extols redemption, it brings to mind dark and cultish history. Spooky. The power of lewd compelled me. Oh, thank you, Iris. Thank you very much for the lovely lewds. How's the work going? All, all uh, settled down a little bit. Uh, is that everything in here, I think? Jim can't nick the knife. Seems obvious, really. Anyway. I saw that this drawing on the dividing screen of the hospital. This one's different. Seems like it was drawn a long time ago. Somehow. Thank you, Iris. Oh, really, Gorse? Is it looking really swish? But does it. How much. What sort of frame rate does it run at? Or does it just. Does it run at too high and nuke the card? Clearly a lair. A lewd lair. I have a spooky. Mm, what do I call this a nest? I call this a man nest, maybe. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's actually not what I suspected. I was kind of hoping that the uh, stairwell would be free. So we have to check the bath out. Did I miss something? Saying with the altar, what items do I have? Uh, 
Holy shit, 106. Damn, that's a that's a spicy temperature on that. A spooky lair. Plushies are great though. Everyone loves plushies, right? They're so squeaky and soft. You live in a concrete cube. Industrial. Aw. I guess I need to pick something up to do something at the altar, I'd guess. Mouse mouse is the best. Squeegee, 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 squeegee. There's a giant Marie plushie. Oh my god, I kind of I kind of want a giant Marie plushie. That sounds amazing. Okay. I'm obviously missing something. Hmm. Well, I've got a plastic bag. That's examining room four. It's circled. What was in the examining room four? Hmm. Is there such a thing as too many plushies? I don't think so. Anyway, everybody, I'm actually going to stop it here, because this is a nice natural point to stop, since we're right by the uh, save point anyway. <laughs> Are you guys trying to convince yourself to get uh, more plushies? <laughs> no spiders on my headset recently, although I, there is a giant spider that lives under my uh, my sock drawer. I saw it crawl out the other day, with one of those big hairy legged ones, you know, those big ones about as wide as your hand. Just chilling out, living under there, doing doing spider things, I guess. Thank you very, very much, everybody. Oh, that's that's oh that that's the where that meme's from, Echo. Okay, I like it. No such thing as too many plushies. Seriously, damn right, Fairy. And thank you so much for the bits, Fairy. That's lovely of you. Thank you very much. Delicious bitties. Thanks, Fairy. It's always lovely to see you, and thank you very much for the support. And thank you, everyone, for watching tonight. I hope you've had a lovely, lovely time. It's been lovely to see you all. Uh, hopefully, we'll do some more streamage tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Ripcord. Thank you very much for the bits, man. Always nice to see you too, dude. Thank you very much for the support, and delicious biddies. Thanks very much, everyone. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice sound ago. Goodness. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to be working late tomorrow, so, again, no early stream, I'm afraid. So we'll be streaming normal time, about half past eight English time. Uh, and yeah, I don't know what we'll stream tomorrow. More, maybe more Dark Souls, maybe something else. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, by the way, uh, just a bit of a, like a sneak peek. I do plan at some point soon to stream American McGee's Alice again, the first one. I think that'd be a nice little fun thing to uh, poop through as like a little chill stream. Anyway, on that note, good night, everyone. Take care of yourselves. And uh, hope to see you all again soon. Mwah. Toodle pip, everyone. Good night.